There's a foreign interest group called APAC that's, you know, got the ear of this current speaker and demanded 16 votes in April on on Israel or the Middle East. We haven't had 16 votes in April on the United States. So what's APAC? APAC is the American Israel Public Affairs Committee. And um, they didn't start out as a PAC in, in the sense of a political action committee, but now they have a political action committee. Um, ostensibly, it's a group of Americans who lobby on behalf of Israel. They're for anything Israel. Um, and they're a very effective lobbying group. To understand APAC, I think it's easiest to model them as a uh, military industrial lobby. Like their biggest thing is they want more equipment, more military equipment from the United States going to Israel. In fact, when they w used to be allowed in my office, the thing they, the argument they would make is, oh, we're just stimulating the U.S. military industrial complex because every single penny of the three point eight billion that they nominally get. Now they're getting way more than that. But that Israel nominally gets goes to U.S. military contractors. Israel is creating tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of, of people who are going to hate the United States and, and, you know, they're going to hate Israel also, but because we're giving Israel the weapons to do what they're doing, we're creating a lot of people who hate us in this country. But we're told that it's essential to our national security to do that. Do you believe that? No, I don't see that. I mean, one of, one of the reasons, like I said, the Biden letter said, well, we need to keep our industrial base strong. So let's fund all these weapons and send them over. But I don't see how it's strengthening our country. In fact, we're getting weaker by doing it.